Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Weldworks Juicy Bits IPA. Juicy Bits is a Nipa, New England style IPA. It says Citra, Mosaic, and Eldorado hops. Keep cold, drink now, fine-tuned beer. It's got little like volume knobs on it, like a That's like cute. a guitar amp or yeah. something. 6.7% brewed and canned by Weldworks, Greeley, Colorado. 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 This one apparently has been adjusted scientifically. Uh, I think they, in order to create like a smooth mouthfeel, they adjusted the water chemistry and something about some high protein malts and and other stuff. Mm. Very scientific. Super hazy. Yeah, pretty hazy. A little bit of uh, orange on the nose there, on mm -hmm. the aroma. Tangerine. I think the idea of the spear is to recreate essentially like orange juice. Oh, okay. So they wanted to create that, you know, super, just like a glass of orange juice. So you get more citrus. Got it. In it. Hmm. Well, we'll be the judge of that. Okay, well, let's dive in and uh, taste it, see what we're looking at. Cheers. Oh, yeah. yeah, tangerine, definitely. Orangey tangerine notes, a little bit of lemon peel kind of character to it. There's no lemon peel in it, but... I like that acidity and the citrusiness that you get in just the pure orange peel, I'm getting a lot of that. It's really good. It does feel like I'm drinking a dry hopped glass. <laughs> kind of like a dry hopped mimosa almost, <laughs> yeah. but like... But a beer form yeah. of it. Yeah, the mouthfeel is really good too. It's it's not quite got that odie character that we've seen in previous beers, but um, but it's definitely got what I would call like a medium to heavy mouthfeel. It feels like the hop character builds over time a little bit. Like those all those notes from the hops just definitely coat your mouth and mm -hmm. kind of just keep coming back for more. Not super bitter in any way though, this but it's good. definitely like really balanced. And, uh, and plays really nicely off those uh, those three different hops in there. They're acquiring the creaminess without, you know, adding lactose or without. Adding yeah, oats I think I think without... it has everything to do with that that water that water acidity, like the uh, just the pH of the water, you know, um, and the additions that the a lot of a lot of breweries do that where they will modify the water. A lot of breweries do it. Yep. Um, we're fortunate enough in Virginia to where we don't have to. We don't really have to modify too much because our water is so like good for brewing. Um, but yeah, it's it's a thing for sure. A lot of breweries don't even mention that they do it, uh, but they do. It, it's required almost to get a beer where it needs to go sometimes. Like yeah. if you have an IPA and you need a specific mouthfeel and you're like targeting something, you have to just, that's one of the steps you have to take. Also has this sort of slightly tart aspect at the very end, like right at the finish. Um, just kind of like, almost as if you bit into an orange and like the rind of an orange. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm tasting. Yeah. I've had this actually as a double dry hop version. Oh, does it which, come in that? Yeah. So Juicy Bits, they, they do like different renditions of the Juicy Bit oh, line. Oh, see. I've had a double dry, double dry hopped version, which is really good. And then, I don't know what other, Juicy bit versions they have, but there's a lot. Well, the OG Juicy Bits, mm -hmm. we can say, is good, for sure. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, please be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon for new videos when they release. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers.